Hello Scorpios, this is your reading for the 5th or the 7th, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. What messages do we have for Scorpio in love for the 5th through the 7th? Messages for Scorpio, let's see what that is. The Magician, there you are. Hmm. There are some things that I feel like you guys have learned about yourselves, about your intuition, about your skills. And you know, you're you're trying to put those things into action. What you what you're really good at right now. Okay, you're trying to make something happen here. Let's see what that is. The high priestess, there's your intuition. Something you're keeping to yourself. I feel like you guys have the key, you hold the key. I'm just getting that, okay? Let's see. What else? The Queen of Pentacles. Maybe this has everything to do with your finances. But, you know, the Magician, we have one and we have two. The Magician is active. The Magician actually does. The High Priestess just knows. Okay? So I feel like you guys definitely hold the key to your own success right now. I feel like there is not a lot that you are sharing with other people. You just know it and you're holding it to yourself. But also using what you know to make some shit happen in your life. Okay. Now either this is a person, this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or either this is you guys, okay, standing in your power, very grounded, very stable, very loving, very supportive, okay, financially. But I feel like you are comfortable in this situation right now. Um, I feel like, you know, you definitely are comfortable with what you have going on. definitely you're comfortable with what you have going on. I feel that you are, it's like you're getting a little too comfortable for you, okay? I'm feeling like you guys want some excitement, okay? You want some excitement in your life. And I think that you're taking some a pause to kind of figure out what it is that is going to bring you um, that level of joy that you're looking for. Okay, let's see the magician here. That wouldn't go in. Hmm. Ace of Cups there. I feel Pisces in your reading. I feel Aries. I'm getting that you guys really care for someone. But you're keeping that to yourself. You're keeping it to yourself. Let's see. Please show me more about the High Priestess energy. Seven of Swords. I don't feel like you guys are acting on it right now. I feel like you really are not trying to um, acknowledge that. You don't want to be vulnerable. I also feel that some of you are not proud of yourselves for the way you handle a situation where somebody had you know, they were extending to you time and time again about how much they care for you, how much they loved you. Um, you're not proud of yourself. And what I'm getting from a lot of you guys is that, you know, you know that what you've done was not necessarily right. But I'm also getting that you have not shared this with the person that you feel like this has affected. Okay. I'm feeling like, you know, you guys definitely have love for this person. Maybe you told this person that you didn't. 
love them. But there's something that I feel like you are not so proud of, guys. Okay. Please show me more about the Queen of Pentacles here. The Nine of Wands. Somebody who has completely blocked themselves off. Somebody that is not really accepting of you know the kind of energy that you feel like you guys exhibited before okay now of course this energy can go vice versa but I'm strongly getting that I'm really speaking to a male Scorpio here okay that is not proud of himself um, so if you're female, then you are probably on the other, the cross watcher on the other side of this. If your female energy is the other way around, okay? Because I'm strongly getting that there's a male that feels, um, they're, they're feeling bad for what they feel like they've done. They have not admitted this to the female counterpart, though. But the, the female counterpart currently has is no longer accepting of that type of energy. As a matter of fact, there is a fortress around them. They're very confident. Okay, They're very confident in who they are. Very resourceful. So they're blocking out the energy of um, lying, deceitfulness, cheating, stealing, any of that type of energy, this person is just not having any of it. Okay, so we have Capricorn. I feel um, Sagittarian energy here. Maybe Aries, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see. Please show me more about the Two of Wands energy. The King of Cups. I am definitely getting that you guys are keeping yourselves, this male Scorpio, you're keeping yourself from approaching this person. Okay. I'm feeling that you're wanting to. I'm feeling that there's so much love that you have for this individual. But it has not been spoken. This Seven of Swords energy, whatever act was done in this situation has not been addressed. Has not been addressed. Then we have the Five of Cups there. Somebody definitely was hurt here. I'm getting that you guys feel a lot of regret. You feel a lot of regret for what has happened here in this situation. Okay. What energy is coming in for Scorpio? What energy is coming in for Scorpios? The Four of Cups. Boredom, complacency. This is you guys. I feel that those guys wanting only that one cup from this Queen of Pentacles. Um, I don't really get that you guys know how to achieve success with this individual. Mm -mm. What else? Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped. Feeling trapped. Not knowing if, even if you made an offer, if this person would accept it. I feel like, you know, you, you feel stuck in this situation. Again, if you're the female, you're on the other side of this. This is for male Scorpio specifically. Feeling trapped in his head. Not knowing even if he offered or, you know, even if you offered this cup to this person, would they be accepting of it? Would they reject you? Because now it's like you're you're comfortable here, not offering and not being rejected. Okay. Please show me more about the Four of Cups. 
the tower. Hmm. Please show me more about the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Cups. I feel a lot of back and forth energy. Back and forth energy coming from you guys here. Four of Cups is all about boredom, complacency. The Tower is all about that ending. Because I see you guys, you know, wanting to do something here, wanting to approach this person, wanting to offer something here. You go back and forth. There's something shocking. There's something ending here, though. There's definitely something ending here. I do see you guys breaking yourselves out of this mental prison. Because this is not working for you. But I also see you breaking free of being complacent. Doing nothing. So maybe some of you guys have, you know, you're getting ready to leave behind this energy of not doing anything, not accepting any love, not, not you know, wanting to offer something for fear of being rejected, leaving that energy behind, ending that because that is not working for you with this tower energy. Something very shocking where there is some news, where there is a revelation, an awakening that's coming in for you guys. Um, clarity, I feel, is coming in for you guys that is going to allow you to move forward and go towards your ninth cup, your happiness. Whether or not it involves this individual remains to be seen. But for the 5th through the 7th, I definitely see you guys, um, you know, just coming out of this state of doing nothing. Or being feeling stuck in your head. I see you obtaining clarity. Okay. I see you definitely obtaining clarity and, you know, slowly making progress in this situation, okay? So, again, we have Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, Aries, um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Energy, Aquarius, maybe Virgo is here um, as well. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.